<clears throat> Hi, this is Queen of Cups. I'm here to do your Aries. February 21st through March 1st read. This will not resonate for every Aries out there. Anything you need will be down in the description box below. I would like to take the time to thank you for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Hi, Aries. How are you? I heard a couple of my Aries have a lot to celebrate. What are we celebrating, Aries? Y'all just been partying? Y'all know y'all my party. Let me tell you something. My Aries is my party, isn't my Over here... Aries is the potters, okay? They look good, feel good, smell good, and they party their ass off, okay, baby? So, Aries, you been partying? No quarantine, you been partying? Mm hmm. It's going good, Aries. Aries, like, life is good. Y'all on, on that future, Aries? Life is good? That's what's up, Aries. That's what's up. Totally understand, but can you lead that person back? Can you leave it in the past life? Can it be past life first? Yeah, I, I feel after that life is good, it's it's some other stuff. But could we leave it? Because I don't think you need it at this point, Aries. But we're going we gonna to see. It's probably a feeling you can't get rid of about a person. But I really don't understand, Aries. But we're going to see. What, why? What's the problem? Why we can't somewhat let go and actually be all the way happy? We're going to see. Yeah. What is it, Aries? You want to be single. You're single for some. Some you just got engaged after being single. Some of you acting single or not single. Yeah. Aries. Some of you single or not act and act like you're single. What you in limbo about? You in limbo about this decision that you want to make when it comes to being um, single, being by yourself. Might be dealing with Pisces. Yeah, you're gonna get head about this. Did I say that? What you what you doing, Aries? What you doing, my Rams? What you in your head about? Why you can't sleep? I don't understand, Aries. Yeah, I know I don't like to be wrapped up in that energy. But you didn't stand up for a commitment because you knew it wasn't right, Aries. So, Aries, I told you the reading before the reading. You have to trade Ace of Swords. You have to face the reality. I told you. Leave the past in the past, Aries. You might be dealing with the Taurus. Look at that Taurus shit. I just did Taurus. They up in here. Yeah. You want you want happiness, Aries? You have it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Trying to get the eleven cups when you uh, when you trying to get ten cups when you already got nine. Basically ten. Why are you not content? You're not content. It's not that you're not happy, you're not content. I don't understand, Aries. Why do you feel that way? Do you feel that way because you feel like you made a big mistake? But you know you didn't make a big mistake. That's just the way you feel. You know the mistake is not a mistake. It's like it's the truth. And you steady seven of swords looking back. Sarah and the palace thought like you keep looking back. Keep looking back, Aries. It's nothing back there, Aries. It's nothing back there, Aries. Please move forward, Aries. It's, it's nothing else I can really say. And at the bottom of the deck. It's nothing I can really say for your reading. Except you need to move forward. Let's pull more cards. Your life is good and you still looking back. It's a feeling of, did I do, did I, am I missing something? You're not missing nothing, 
you, if you if you did, you already missed it, Aries. Hello. Because you looking back to see what you done missed. So if you missed it, you missed it already. Oh, Aries. Well, that's why I did y'all. I knew y'all was going to get me up this morning. Only my Aries keep me on my toes. Only Aries. Okay. Yeah, the candle. I got the candle in the eye. You already know. You already some of you, you already manifested sorcerers at the bottom of my deck. Told you. Some of you already manifested. You happy, Aries? What is it, Aries? We just going you just going through it. Okay. That, yeah, they just said you're going through it. It's okay. It's all right. You might want to do something for some of you that's into uh, magic. You might want to do some candle magic to help you um, clear. Maybe a blue candle, red candle, pink candle. Um, okay, some of you might be having migraines. It's a sign of telling you um, that your third eye chakra needs um, working on. Um, and also for you to get out of your head as well, Aries. Inner goddess, awaken the inner goddess within yourself through dance, self care, and appreciating your divinity. Okay, that's what I'm saying, Aries. What is it? Just go ahead. Your life is good. Leave it. Leave it. Y'all make me want to pop your hand. Don't go back. I'm going to pop your hand, Aries. I'm going to do it. I'm going to pop your hand. I'm going to pop your hand. Guiding children, you are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. Um, this might be, like I said, dealing with a family situation um, where you don't think it, it maybe was a good idea or is um, from separating from your um, maybe other spouse that you have children with or um, just moving on the way you are something with children, maybe switching families, um, uh, moving forward, things like that. You still have residue. You're still in the past, Aries. And it's going to mess things up because you're still in the past. Be strong. You are stronger than you think. Your strength ensures your happy outcome. Okay, that's what I'm saying, Aries. I'm going to pop you. I'm going to pop your hand. Because you're asking for popping because you, I don't understand it. You, it's good. Um, and you might need a pop area. It might just and make you look forward. Like, pay attention. Um, I feel like you're not paying attention when it comes to what's right in front of you, Taurus. And I don't want you to lose that. Okay? You will. Um, that's what they said. Talk to them. Talk to your spirit guides. Talk to um, your spiritual leader. Whoever you have to um, talk to far as spiritually, talk to them. They're asking you to come to them so they can ease your mind. Because they're not going to give you a decision to make. They're going to ease your mind about decision that you have to make if you follow me. Okay. Prosperity. The universe is pouring to this abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Told you. Aries, you know, y'all know I just woke up. Y'all know I just got back up here. Y'all like the second, the third reading, not and done. Y'all, I love y'all, but I'm going to pop y'all hand. And I was doing fine with no headache. Y'all done came up here, Aries, and gave me a headache. And I love y'all. <clears throat> move forward Aries you got this you got it yeah six of swords on inner goddess move forward keep moving keep moving it's like one of the <laughs> it's like taking your child on a nature hike and you like just keep moving come on don't need to look back to see how far we got just keep, keep moving 
Ooh, you're healing them inner childhood wounds when it comes to having abandonment issues, abandoning what you need, what you don't need for yourself, Aries. This is the problem that you're having. I figured it out. Ha <laughs> ha. You have an abandonment issues. You haven't healed your abandonment um, issues that you have from childhood. You need to leave it behind far as um, trying to heal the situation. It's already healed. Trust me, Aries. It's okay. It's already healed. Just go ahead and move forward once again. Five of Swords. So I cannot make this up. You walking away, Aries. You have to walk away, Aries. Whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally, you have to walk away from the past. It's holding you back. And I feel some of you are married, just got married, uh, starting a family, engaged, things like that. And Aries, you are letting the past ruin it so much. You about to be a little, little, little cray cray out here, okay? Don't do it. Let go of the past. Five of cups at the bottom of the deck. Six of cups. Nostalgia. Memory. I told you. Aries, let it go. Let it go. Uh, what, what's the, she ain't she ain't worth it. She, it. That was some move. She ain't worth it or something. It, it, they ain't worth it. They ain't worth it, Aries. Let's, let's pull some cards. Then getting up out of here because it's plain. It's plain and simple. It's yours. It's the shortest so far, I think. I summed that right on up. Something then I say something big is on the way. Told you. Told you. Allow your vision to expand and be open to the form it takes. You may discover that you were dreaming too small or what that seemed like an obstacle is actually pointing you in a better direction. The universe always has your back. Then I then I tell you. What is he, Aries? Told you. You can't please everyone, Aries. That's your problem. When we are focused on living up to other people's standards, you aren't spending enough time raising your own. Some folks expect you to act a certain way and march to the beat of their drum, boring drum. They find safety and sameness, but you have the beautiful music inside of you. Your flair is meant to be shared. Don't shrink to fit in or get approval. Instead, dump your need to please and just... Be your magnificent self. You, you Aries, you were ran for a reason. Okay. You were ran for a reason. Pull one more for you. And I'm out of here. Embrace your sensitivity. Aries, your sensitivity is a scary gateway to your intuition. It's that special receptive radar that picks up your energy and signals. In fact, your sensitive is one of your greatest your sensitivity is one of your greatest assets and the key to your survival. The more you're connected with it, the more miracles and synchronicities you attract. Aries. This is why you feel in the way you feel. Let it go. It's gonna be alright, I promise you, Aries. You have so much great stuff in front of you coming up. Let it go. It ain't worth it. All right. I hope this helped. Bye.